Now we need another button called time up in order to see the winning team at the end of the match. Let's create that button. I clicked on buttons and dragged like this. First, we see ID. Here I will give the name as button time up. B U T T O N button T I M E time U P up button time up. Now type time up instead of the word button in this text. Next, let's set the width to 180. Just like this, where it says height, we set the value as 40. Also, let's set the X position to 55 and the Y position to 345. Now we can give any color we like for this button. For that, I clicked on this box in front of background color and I choose red. From the font size, I will set the font size to 30. Alright, we need another screen to show whether team A won or if team B won or if both teams scored equally. I clicked the small arrow next to the screen home at the top and created another screen as a screen result. Now let's click on screen result. Now when I click like this, we can see that I have created a label called label result to display the result. We have finished work in the design section. So now I clicked on code.